So we met about 10 years ago in high school. I was a sophomore and she was a freshman. And back in the day, there used to be one day a month that there was, it was called Collaboration Day, where you got out of school early, but the buses still picked you up at three o'clock. So you had about four hours of nothing to do and all of the students got together and would, some people would go to Subway, some people would go somewhere else, some people would go to people's houses. And a group of my friends and a group of her friends were all walking the subway together. And I knew, I knew who she was. She didn't know who I was. And I knew she was that gorgeous girl that I wanted to know. And from there, some of our friends had gotten together and one of her friends, one of her old friends introduced us and the rest is history. met I was like eh, I don't know about this guy you know I, and then we started talking and it really uh, it truly is his personality and how kind-hearted he is which not everyone gets to know and and how respectful and honest and caring he is I'm a pretty nice guy he's he's pretty <laughs> nice just one thing that I like or love about him. I think that it's just the relationship that we've built together. We've grown up knowing each other, so we've really grown up and attached to each other and kind of don't really know life without each other in a good way. Um, but he's kind, he's caring, which as he's said before, we, we blend well together for that. And. Uh, I don't really think there's anything that bothers me, maybe other than the fact he runs on Indian time, which is super late. <laughs> but I've learned. I've learned to uh, tell him even earlier than normal. At a half hour. At a half hour for him and his family. <laughs> um, but he just, he treats me so well and we blend so well together. I, there's, there's not one thing I could say, but I'm really lucky that he's also cute. <laughs> What I have always envisioned in my future wife or any girlfriend or somebody to want to spend my life with was I wanted somebody who'd be extremely supportive of myself and my goals, someone who's extremely caring and she's probably the most caring person that I know. She cares so much about helping people that she went to be a nurse because that's, you know, it fit best with her and the third thing which Probably not the best thing to say right now, but I want, she had to be really pretty. <laughs> so that had to work in as well. So supportive, extremely caring, and gorgeous were my three criteria, and she checked all of those boxes. So we spent our anniversary Oh, on a cruise and our anniversary day which was our either ninth or tenth anniversary uh, we spent the day the cruise uh, went to Jamaica so we spent the day in Jamaica and I was like okay if this is gonna happen it's gonna happen here it's beautiful there's not a cloud in the sky we're having a blast and it didn't happen and so I was kind of bummed <laughs> it's really funny because my friends even messaged me through Facebook like is there a ring? Is there a ring? Is there a ring? Nope. Because he wouldn't tell anyone, even though they kept asking. And uh, I had no idea because I thought, what a perfect opportunity to ask while you're on the beach in Jamaica. I said, don't expect it. It's not going to happen. <laughs> um, so we ended up asking at like 11.50, almost midnight, on our uh, anniversary. I think he was a little bit nervous. Okay. And uh, <laughs> he took me to the top of the boat. Uh, there beautiful stars, there was no one else there, and he just started talking to me. I didn't think anything of it, and then he got down on one knee, and that was, that was it. Yep. It's the best moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs>